Ashley and Jordan Banjo are with me now. Hello. How are you doing? You okay? Good, Ashley. Congratulations. First of all, take me back to devising that routine. I mean, it must have been quite tough. I mean, we didn't really have much time to think about it. That's kind of the beauty of it. Like, it was like a week's turnaround from getting the call to ask to be a judge on the show and on the same call, you know, ask to perform. Um, so, yeah, we had like six days. We I, I worked overnight. We turned it around. I judged on the night, put my outfit on, walked on stage and did it. it was so, in a way, I didn't really have time to assess it. So, even though it was, it was nerve-wracking, I'd say tonight was way more nerve-wracking than the actual performance itself. Jordan, was it electrifying to perform that routine? Yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, it, normally we we go on stage, we perform, and it's it's something we love to do. So it obviously means a lot, and it's exciting every time. But when there's such a powerful message behind a routine, and you know, it represents a lot of things for a lot of people, it gives it that you know, it, there's even more of an edge to it. You know, I remember we we finished we we're a one minute into the routine. I remember looking out. And seeing uh, Alicia, Alicia Dixon, like she was she was in tears on part of the routine, and I was like, "This, you can feel that connection." There wasn't many people in the room. There was like, you know, four people watching plus plus all the crew, and there's a virtual audience. But even with that small amount of people there, you felt the connection, and that's what you want when you perform. Mm. So, hundred uh, percent. Jordan, uh, there's a question here. What were the nerves like? I mean, you said that it was exciting to perform, but what was it like just before? Just before. Oh yeah, d definitely nervous. I get nervous before every performance and you asked earlier, you know, what was the prep like for the routine? I was worried, you know, about doing certain parts of the routine. I spoke to Ash, I was like, do you think we'll get, you know, the right reaction? How do you think people will feel? And, you know, like, as always, <clears throat> on the surface, Ash seemed calm, cool, collected. We went forward, we did the routine, had a lot of pressure on his shoulders that night with judging as well. But tonight, this is what I was just saying to you outside, right? I have never seen Ash like it. We were sat in the chair waiting <laughs> For yeah. all the awards beforehand, when they were reading out the nominator, I was looking, I was like, are you right? Like, I've never seen him like that. Mm. So nervous, so like, literally, I've never seen it. And that's why I was, I'm happy you, we did win, just because, one, I know how much it meant to you, but the fact, if it makes you feel like that, I know how much it means to everyone, and everyone who voted for us as well, it obviously means a lot to them. Well, yeah, it's voted by the public. Ashley, how does it feel to win an award voted for by the public when you take into account some of the reactions that came after? That, that, that's why I was so nervous in a way. That's why it meant so much because it's voted for by the public. It would have been great to, to win a BAFTA, but this, is for me, this isn't just about like an award to me. This is about like a public vote. This is a chance for the public to speak up. And in a way, it was almost like, did it, did, was it right or not? Do they, did they support it or not? And it's, it would never have been as simple as if we didn't win, they didn't, because I know that's not true. The support was overwhelming. But to have won it, to have won a BAFTA for a performance just shows me that the, the British public are incredible when they support it and support us. And we really, really did the right thing, you know, and, and stuck by it. So yeah, it just, it's incredible. It's just a BAFTA, it's, it's kind of validation, it's um, support from the public, it's everything kind of wrapped up into one. So a lot, a lot, of, uh, a lot of feels tonight. And there's a question here from the press room, dance is universal like music. And I suppose the point here is, is that it's a very unique platform to put through that kind of message, isn't it? The question is, what other resonant messages would you like to put across moving forward through your performances? Just whatever we feel is right. That's the beautiful thing. Like we've got a platform and we've got a, a talent and we've got the ability to create things that connect with people. So um, in a way, I feel like it's only, it's only natural of us to sort of like create pieces of art and pieces of dance that, you know, talk about issues and connect with people and stuff that connects with them. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to just, you know, creating more and see, seeing what's next in line. Maybe, maybe we'll be back again. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Jordan, you sound very proud of your brother as well. What was it like having got your big break on that stage to be back there for this big moment? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a huge... Um, it was a huge deal to all of us, even for the fact that Ash was obviously sat in Simon's chair. Simon wasn't able to be there that year, so Ash was there as a judge. For all of us, you know, not just for like me, my mum, my sister, my dad, um, for everyone in the group, it was a really emotional moment just for Ash to be judging there. Uh, and I, I, I couldn't be, I, the only thing at the time, I was just gutted that because of obviously all restrictions, I couldn't go and watch him judge and do stuff like that. And then he said he was going to be performing. And I was like, this is just huge. Like in the space of 11 years at the time, mm. we've gone from being a group of friends who you know, were at my mum's dance studio to selling out arenas, doing tours, 
Ashley's a judge and Britain's got talent and now we're back performing. And then you've got this huge reaction. Again, yeah, initially a lot of it negative, but then you hear all that positivity and love coming through. Now we're sat here with a BAFTA. I'm beyond proud of what diversity is like achieved, but I'm beyond proud of Ash as well, obviously for anchoring us and bringing us through. Absolutely amazing. How are you going to celebrate, Ashley? Uh, I haven't thought about it. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> I, I was just I was just thinking about what's going to happen in the moment. I honestly, normally I'm pretty forward thinking. I like to plan everything, whereas I actually don't know. I'm going to walk out there and I'm probably going to ask that question to George. Like, what are we going to do? I have no idea. Jordan, what are you going to do? <laughs> so far, really, guys, wild night on the town. All right, get out the bubbly, yeah. get a Domino's <laughs> pizza in. Okay, talk about the pizza brands are available. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. What? Call everyone, make sure everyone knows that I'm a BAFTA winner now. Put the phone down, exactly. call them again. Just yeah. do as much as you can, you know, exactly. all that stuff. Don't answer, leave a voicemail, a long, a long one. Four minutes max, I think, I mean, to it? be fair, if you're a BAFTA winner, they probably should answer the phone. They so should. get out of here, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just finally, what's next for diversity? You can get out on the road again, I guess. Get out on the road again, I guess. Mm, yeah, I'm just going to visit every high street I can, just carrying this. <laughs> I'm just gonna make it. I'm just gonna make a helmet and just put it on top and walk down every high street in the UK. That's what's next. It's gonna probably take me a good few years, but I'm committed. Congratulations, go and enjoy yourselves. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you.